Okay, so I just put this short video together to take through the process of accessing pupil, accessing, sorry, pupil reports, um, which we're starting to trial through the ePraise system and sending them home electronically. Um, first of all, it's important to say that if you're, you're not happy receiving an electronic report and you would still like a paper copy, if you can just contact school and let, let school know, we can still facilitate that. Um, but we are hoping to reduce the amount of paper that we're going through and, and do this electronically as much as we can moving forward. It does also assume that you've actually got access to your parental account in this case. Um, if you don't yet have access to your parental account, there should have been some instructions sent home via parent pay, I believe, um, which will take you through the process of uh, activating and setting up that parental account. Um, you can, in, in as, a, as a bit of a fail safe, you can actually still access the reports through the, the pupils accounts as well um, at this point in time. So if you can't access your parent account, the process to access it through the pupils accounts is just the same. Um, so what we've got at the minute here on the screen is a parental account. Um, the first thing that you need to do is actually make sure you go to the child's profile, whose report that you're trying to look at. To do that, we go to the My Children option. Um, and you select the child um, whose report you are looking to view. Um, in this case, this account has three children. Obviously, that's going to vary from family to family. So we're just going to make sure, first of all, we select the correct pupil. Uh, and what you should then see just over on this right hand side is a new tab, which will say documents. We're going to select that documents tab and that will then take us to a further page which will detail all the documents that are available to see for that particular pupil. This is just a year nine test report that we set up just to uh, test the system and for the purposes of this video, you can see that it is available from a given date and time and it is available to a given date and time, sorry. That is important. This feature is time limited and after the available to date uh, and time is passed, the reports will disappear from ePraise. It's important for you because if you want to keep a permanent copy of the report, you will need to download and save it or print it um, if you wish to keep the copy. They won't disappear from school, so if it does disappear and you've, you've not downloaded and saved it and you do want a further copy, you can still contact school, but we would encourage you, if you want a permanent copy, to download and save the report by this, this date here. Um, and then finally, to actually access the report, if you look over on the right hand side, there is this download option. If you click on the download cloud, then you will be given the option to either open or save the report uh, for the particular pupil. I'm not actually going to open this one, so I'm just going to uh, close that down. Um, the report, when you open it, will open as a PDF, so you won't be able to edit it, but you will be able to print it and view it. Um, and hopefully, that is relatively straightforward. If you do experience any problems, um, you want any support with this, um, if you could use the ePraise email address, um, which is ePraise at st josephs.bolton.sch.uk, um, we will get back to you and we'll do our very best to alleviate any problems that you might be experiencing. Thank you very much.